have this folder in here where I have some files that I'm going to be using. Uh, the, sorry, I'm going to be using this folder to store the files of the compiled object. So we're just going to have to work, wait for this to delete itself. It's a little bit slow. Until then, we go here to Asset Ripper, open it up, let it load in, open the file. We want to compile. There you go. And then we can view the loaded files. Now we have quite a lot of stuff here, so what we can do is we can go to export all files. Um, oh, I pressed the wrong button. We have to click here um, on the thingy. Export all files. Come on. Stop lagging. Select a folder, not reset. Go to N, or whatever you called it, to export Unity project. Now it's going to take a little bit because there's 6,000 things that has to extract. But until then, we can go to Unity. And actually, a very cool thing you can do is that if you don't have the version of Unity that you need to run this, you can click on this little button here and it's going to open up something that looks like um, this. And then it's going to pop open this and it's going to tell you to install this version of um, Unity. I have the correct version of Unity installed, so it should work. I open this up. It says I have an error, but I just make it open up with my version of 2019.4. And I can now click on continue. And I will also be showing you guys how to fix an issue that I've come across in um, while trying to decompile this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my files here. I'm going to find in assets, I'm going to find my stuff folder and get this activator thingy. I'm going to be putting this into the description of this video. So now we're going to wait here. I'm going to... Um, be back with you guys once it fully loads. Okay, so it is almost done with loading into the Unity project. It is importing all of these sound files. And in just a second here, we're gonna be able to load into Ultra Kills Demo. But once we do enter, we're gonna have to fix a few problems that show up when we are um, going to be using it. So let's to let this work a little bit more. And almost there. Come on. Go to go to extra little distance. Well, this is gonna take a little bit, but while we're doing that, I'm gonna be going over what this um, what this code that I made does. So there's this really really cool camera called the virtual camera that is showing off all of what's going on inside of. Um, the game, in essence, and what, what's going on? I'm gonna just um, click on skip all transcoding because I'm not, not, not bothered about it. But what this does is that when you attach it to a camera, it turns on that camera and forces it to be on all the time, which is what was the issue that was currently going on. Um, there seems to be an issue with the current loading of the project. I will get back to you once I figure out how to fix this. Oh, there you go, it fixed itself. So it's going to do that one last time, and boom. Now we have everything working, no compiler errors, everything, we have all of this stuff. Just as a disclaimer, you cannot do this with the full version of Ultra Kill. I've tried, and it just doesn't work. So you run this, it's not going to work 100%. It's going to have some issues. There you go. So tutorial, we don't want the tutorial to run at all because it's basically useless. If you want to keep it, you can keep it. I prefer it not to be there. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be deleting this tutorial. I'll be doing the intro, deleting the credits, and then we're going to go straight to the level one, because this is the one that I want to run from the beginning. And I'm going to just click on this little button over here, and it's going to turn it on. As you can probably see, I can move around, I can punch, but there's an issue. I can't see anything. Now, after some time of trying to fix this, I have figured out how to solve this. So we have to go to a player here to open his uh, node up, go so here, and we have the virtual camera. This is what shows everything, and this is the issue. What's wrong with it? So, first of all, we turn off standard. We just turn that off. We go here, and we go to the shop camera. Copy this component, go to virtual camera, paste component values, then we turn off. This is very important. Transparent FX, ignore raycast, always on top, in 
visible virtual screen ground check enemy wall and that's about it and what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the activator script that I have will will give you inside of the inside of the um, description of this video drag and drop it here select the virtual camera itself and now when we run it you can see that everything works 100% you can punch I'm going to give you an introduction. If you want to get rid of this introduction, I can also show you how to do that. And it's going to give you this, um, this error. Which is, um, kind of weird, but like, you know, it works, everything works. Pretty cool that it all, all works correctly. You can go to the checkpoint, everything. Fine. Pretty cool that this works. I mean, it's very easy to add what you have to do. They have to edit this with every single one. So I don't know why it's not working. It's, it's working fine. It, I mean, if you want to add more weapons, I'll teach you how to do that as well. So, don't worry, I got you. So what you want to do is you want to go here, and what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to just turn on all of these. I'm going to turn on everything that we get. So the hallway, we're going to go and look at this thing. Now what I want to do here is I want to look at this. So this is the activator. This is what activates everything that's going to be coming up. This is pretty cool. I'm going to go here. I don't need the introduction to play or whatever. Oh, the wrong stuff. Um, what I'm going to do uh, one alt. I want to remove this. I don't want to turn that on because it messes up a lot of stuff. So you guys here, we can delete the credit stuff. It's left, right, wind, and right here. And you get out, and this is part of it. Yeah. And it goes here. Seems to be nothing else. So you're here, which is where there's a title activator. Um, it's not called that, at least um, not that I am aware of. It's just that that's what it was called when I had it. Um, let me just see. Title activator, here we go. This is what you want to see. And if you turn this on, it just works. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see this thingy and we don't need this and finally if you save all of that you can go here to shotgun and there's this little shotgun thingy we can go to agent one drop all the way over here go whatever wherever you want to go get over here now this this is supposed to be a pickup um, I don't see why it's not working but what we're just going to do is we're going to put this over here instead of it, rotate it, and we'll just start with a shotgun instead of like that. Now, no more introduction. It's a bit buggy. So I don't think it's going to activate it on correctly. Let me just see. Pedal activator. We should just um, leave this on. Then, if we run it, it should work. If it doesn't, then it's at me. Other than that, yeah, it works. Fine. See? Uh, yeah, okay, so it works. Everything works. So, we're on to figure out what's going on. There you go. So, yeah, that's how you decompile Ultra Kill. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and have a great day. Bye.